Hey, what's up, my little tattletales, and what's up, Sussex Squad? Y'all sit down. We need to talk. First of all, let's talk about Megan and her Dior. Listen, it's been debunked, but I will go down and saying this. This is all the Daily Mail seeing they found a roundabout to keep them in the papers without actually saying anything um, uh, uh, defamatory toward them. Also, y'all, the Royal Ascot took place. If you know, ever since Meghan and Harry don't go, the Royals don't get coverage in the US and they don't get worldwide coverage. Now, I know they're fine flexing on the cover of the Daily Mail, but baby, that country's going bankrupt. They need to worry about how they're gonna afford uh, Camilla's courts and way. Y'all, let's get into this because I have to actually laugh. You know you're that B when you cause all the conversation. Meghan and Harry, Megan went to the Royal Ascot once. I don't even remember what she wore. Who cares, right? They are still talking about it. Even coverage of the Royal Ascot literally overshadowed everybody there. And Camilla, listen, I used to think that Camilla was fine being homely, looking like a looking like all the hate in her heart bubbled out toward her face, right? Looking like somebody's Mima. I always thought Camilla was fine at the age of 30, looking like she was 73. I did. It's like, okay, Camilla is happy if you give her apples and, you know, Charles holds over the oat bag. You know, Camilla likes to get frisky when those apples are around. Charles is just like throwing them to her. I always thought that was the case. But I'm beginning to think that Camilla really thinks she's that chip. Camilla really thinks she's unstoppable. Camilla has been competing with Kate for fashion, which I said, fair enough, you might win. You never know. Kate, for as many wins as she has, she has a lot of missteps. Kate is very good when she's dressing in formal events, playing like evil queen. But when she has to do casual stuff, that's when you see, baby, you're not a fashion girly. But Camilla, it seems like, is now trying to compete with Megan too. You know, this woman wore a cream suit to the Royal Ascot and it was Dior. Now, baby, if I can remember, I'll put a picture up on it. You know how I get. First of all, Pull this mess up. First of all, I would like to say a couple of things. Okay. First of all, Tamila, in your wildest honey bunches of oats, nay, nay, the queen is here dreams. Could you ever, first of all, you wore it in Dior? Um, <laughs> can't tell. Look like all the other dumb stuff you wore. Se second of all, she wore a tan neutral color. Because remember when Megan was like, I only wear neutrals because they said don't outshine the queen and this and that and blah, 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 blah. She wore it in the tan color. I believe the same tan color that Megan wore to the Jubilee or if not, she wore it like with the queen. Anyway, it is some type of toffee, lavender, white. And Camilla wore it with a cream hat. Can I just say Camilla looks a hot, ta 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 mess the coat's ill full. You know what? She looks okay for her age. Let me just be fair, right? I don't like Camille as a person, but I'll give credit where credit is due. She looks nice for her age. It's actually a cute set. Honestly, if my Mima was wearing it, I'd be like, ooh, Mima, you doing it. You dipping and dabbing. So I'll give credit where credit's due. But the fact of, Camille, you are so stupid. Megan was wearing earth tones because she is smart. Megan doesn't need blue, purple, yellow to stand out. Megan's natural melanin makes any type of neutral, off-white or anything like that pop on her. It was a way of still looking nice while sticking to the dress code. And the fact that Camilla is wearing a Dior coat dress in the exact color Megan wore, looking washed out, her hair looking like cotton candy straw. No, I can't. I really can't. The sad thing is that Charles and Camilla weren't so evil. They really would look like lovable grandparents, would they not? would they not but we know the truth anyway right so uh she wore those dior on day one i guess she thought she was stepping on megan's toes but baby if i got you shook if the queen of england is throwing subs at me baby i know i caused all the commotion the queen of england is subbing me i would literally be in my family group trap y'all y'all know the kid queen of england is subbing me baby that's not making megan look bad that's making you look small and petty aren't you supposed to be running a kingdom don't you have like other horsies? Like, shouldn't you be trying to free your friends that are being forced to be at the Royal Ascot Day? Shouldn't you be trying to free the fellow horses that are being enslaved to play polo? I'm just saying, shouldn't you? Anyway, 
they actually made, and I, I see their tabloids news now. Now they're just going to start baseless rumors and try to throw salt in all of Megan Stills. They're sitting there being like, oh my God, like she might get a contract with Dior. Guess what? We heard a contract with Dior, but stupid Megan shouldn't get it. Now they're trying to say that Megan's trying to do, what is Camilla Tomey talking about? Camilla Tomey is talking about she might write a memoir post, uh, post Spotify. I hope she does. I hope she does. She's probably like, why am I doing this? They're taking shots at me. Let me let that chopper sing and you know I'm going to be here for it. But let's talk about the way the Daily Mail really wrote an article about how nobody likes Harry and Meghan. And they're glad they weren't there. That's right. Because in all the places when I've been having the time of my life, the one person or people I wanted to talk to were people I hated or can't stand. That is very, very normal human behavior that when you're having the time of your life, all you do is talk about the people that you can't stand. They said, Prince Harry and Meghan Markham did not attend this year's Royal Ascot, the fancy horse race that's one of the highlights of England's social season. Camilla should have been trying to free her brethren, but their names were apparently on everyone's lips and not in a good way. King Charles and Queen Camilla presided over the horsey spectacle that was known as one of Queen Elizabeth's most beloved events. Imagine being like the queen of the horsies and you see your brethren enslaved and you do nothing. You see, some people just lose their minds when they make it come up. Anyway, right? A source told page six, the gossip in the royal enclosure was how happy everyone was that Harry and Meghan weren't there. Stands were particularly a buzz about the frosty relationship between Camilla and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Meg made her debut at the ev- debut at the event in 2018 to much fanfare. She and Harry had married one month earlier. Um, uh, wearing Gavinci, Meghan arrived in a carriage fit for a princess. What else was she supposed to arrive in? Don't they make them arrive and stuff? What you want her to Uber over there? Anyway, Seven even thought that Camilla may have been throwing regal shade at Marco by wearing Dior at the event, right after rumors that Megan was inking a Megabucks deal with the high-end brand were unfashionably shot down. They're literally making up rumors and then just shooting them down. A source who attended the royal event told Pate Six, Camilla's friends say she remains furious at Harry and Meghan after Harry called her a wicked stepmother in his memoir. Camilla tells Charles they make her uncomfortable. Oh my God. And Charles loves her unconditionally. He made her queen and will choose her well-being over them every time. They literally wrote, Charles made Camilla queen and will choose her well-being over his own sons every time. Charles ain't ish, but it's true. And William needs to watch out because baby, Camilla got her good got her good hoof on you. Anyway, a source added, Camilla knows not to go too far as Charles still loves Harry. Everyone blames Megan for the entire mess. Today at the Ascot proved that people love her and she won't risk ruining it by engaging with Harry and Meghan. It was a great day at the races. The ladies' hats were fantastic. You wrote a billion words about Meghan and and Harry and put in a threat saying that they need to kiss Camilla's butt or how or Her- Charles is gonna what? Let that chopper sink. What else can he do? What else can he do? Take away the titles of Lily and uh, uh, Archie saying they're not working hard enough as five-year-olds. They're not contributing to the crown. Y'all listen, this is a hot mess. Camilla is delusional, but the funniest thing is that she really thinks she's a fashion girl. She really thought she stepped out tomorrow. Dior, what? You don't know what you are doing, period. Literally, she was like, how I look, Charles. He was like, ooh, she was stepping out, doing a little foxtrot with the horsey. And she was like, and that's on what? Yes, that's on everything. Y'all listen, I don't know what's funny. Them literally having such a happy day talking about Megan or Camilla really thinking she shut messed down. Anyway, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Bye.